I think everything we've been doing over the past three years has been, you know, a building block to create an identity here. I think something we've been really working towards is the consistency of our identity. We've done really well to be incredibly competitive. You know, over the past two years, we've we've had many, many games in the double digits of 1-0 losses, right? Our thing now is about how do we change those into favorable results for us. So for us, it's small consistency things. You know, I think in many games last year, we were really competitive statistically in terms of our possession and what we want to do, sort of our key performance indicators that, that we look at. You know, we either were right where we wanted to be or led against our opponent in a lot of those statistical categories. We scored more goals than we have since I've been here. So I think it's just taking that momentum of, you know, inching along as we create this identity at, to now, okay, it's in place. We're inputting our philosophy, our playing style, those things on our opponent, and that's creating results. You know, so I think for us, that's sort of just the, it's taking the next step. It's not doing anything different. It's not changing anything. It's taking the next step. We've got an experienced back line coming back. You know, two of three of our center backs are going to be uh, really important players for us. Abby Dent and Anissa Sheikh, you know, are going to be, you know, important players in the back line for us. They're going to help us set our tempo and, and how we want to play. Jill playing, playing in goal, you know, but we've also got a really good uh, core of goalkeepers coming in. It's going to be a, a competition for sure. Riley obviously scored, you know, I think eight goals and five assists or, or something like that. And so, you know, coming back and, and I think we're going to have some, some pieces around her now that, you know, we're going to be able to spread the wealth in terms of who's scoring goals for us, both in some, some younger players that got experience last year, but also some of the players, players coming in. I think Lauren Fife and, and Morgan Anderson centrally are going to do a really good job to help us move the ball around and, you know, a lot of other players. We've got players coming from all over the country, which I think is, is sort of how we recruit and we want uh, a nationwide presence. You know, I think we've, we've got a pretty good pedigree of, of players coming in um, that have played at a lot of high levels, whether it be the Girls Academy, ECNL, you know, some of, of those types of environments where they're going to have played with the best of the best and, and are going to be ready to, to sort of come in and help us take that next step, as we say. We've become a little bit more international as well. It's a really fun class that I, I think we're not going to put a pressure on to come in and help us, but I think the ability and the talent that are coming in are going to be able to come in and do that for us. Us, so I think we have a fun schedule part of it we're going on some cool uh, trips we're gonna be in New York City for two games which I think our players are looking forward to uh, against Iona and Long Island you know hopefully a time to spend a little bit of time in the city get a great experience and then hopefully get get a couple wins while we're up there you know obviously the Citadel is always always a big game for us you know and I think we, we end the regular season with that game so obviously it could be a day with with a lot on the line and, and add to a, a really fun rivalry you know ohio's back on the schedule fbs max school so i think we've, we've got some fun experiences but also a schedule which i think will provide some good challenges but uh also provide some, some really cool opportunities to to hopefully you know take the next step as i talked about